Emma, I'm going to start you off with a warm-up drill. This is great because you're going to work on your feel, but in conjunction with running really fast. That's a tricky thing when you run really fast, but then also you have to have soft hands. Just imagine like you're at the baseline, you're running down a drop shot, and then you do a little like counter drop shot like this. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Okay, so we're going to practice this. I'm going to give you a set of 12, and you get your ball as close to the net as possible. Okay. All right, ready? Here we go, set of 12. One, two, three, four, come on, five, come on, soft hands, six, come, seven, so open the racket face a little bit, eight, that's nine, good job Emma, come, ten, here's eleven, and last one, come on, nice touch there, good job, okay, now Emma, we're going to do a similar drill, but this time it's going to be a volley, okay, I'm also going to move you side to side, ball is going to be super low, and you do again a counter drop shot, but you take the ball in the air, okay, Touch. We're working on touch and we're also working on uh, moving really fast. Okay, here we go. One, two, here we go. Try to get down as low as possible. Three, four, come on. Five, six, good work, Emma. Come. Seven, eight, come, it's all right. Nine, good get. Come. Ten, got a couple more. Come, hang in there. Eleven, go. Good try. One more, Emma. Go, go, come on. One more. Get, get. All right, good try. Good try, good try. Emma, let's redo that one because you didn't get those last two, okay? How many balls? Set of 12. Okay, okay I'm going to keep track for you. Back up a little bit. And let's get really low. And let's work on the feel as well. Here we go. Three. Come on. Four. Recover quick. Five. Here we go. Six. Here we go. Seven. Good. Here we go. Eight. Come on. Here we go. Nine, Emma. Here we go. Ten, Emma. Come on. Here's 11. You got it. And here's last one. Excellent work there. Nice job. Okay, Emma, now we're going to do lateral volleys, okay? These are going to be a little bit higher. You're going to put them away, and we're going to moving laterally. We'll do it 12 times. Put these away down the line, okay? You're going to take the ball as high as possible and close on it a little bit. Here we go. Three. Good. Four. It's okay to hit down on these type of balls. Just don't use your wrist. Here we go. Seven. Good. Here we go. Eight. Come on. Nine. Put them away. Here's 10. Come on. 11. Go. And here's 12. Much better. Good job. Okay, my forward backward movement at the net is super important. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a high ball and you're going to back up, hit an overhead, but then also I'm going to bring you in on the next shot. And I'm going to alternate a little bit. Do you know how to hit uh, backhand overheads? Yes. Okay, perfect. Because that's a tricky shot. Yeah. I'm not very good at them. I'm not good at them either. Yeah, but still you got to know how to do it, right? So one, one deep, hit an overhead, and then come in very aggressively, close the volley and put it away. Okay. Okay, please put the overheads away from me and we do a set of, we only do a set of eight, real quick. Here we go. Nice, Emma. Close in, put it away. Come on. Backhand overhead. Okay, that works too. Close in. Okay. No, but it's okay. It's actually okay for you to run around. Just keep doing what comes natural. If you have time to run around and hit a forehand overhead, by all means do so, okay? Come on. Six more. Two. Come on. Three. Here we go. Get back there a little quicker. Close. Come on. Here we go. Two more, Emma. Come. Last one. All right. That's perfect. If you can avoid the back end overhead, by all means, continue yeah. doing so. Very good. I mean, you do what, what comes natural. Of course. Of course. And if of you have time. If I have time, I'll do this one. That makes, right. that makes a lot of sense. Emma, a really good way to warm up your ground strokes before you back up to the baseline is to do some swing volleys, okay? So just take rips at these, put them in the corners away from me. I'm going to mix it up, give you some forehands and backhands. The timing is a lot easier on the swing volley, and this is a good way to get into a rhythm. Here we go. Nice. Good. Just back up a little bit, back it up. Good work, nice. I'm gonna back up two steps. Two steps back. All right, and let's do swing volleys from back there. Good. Good, Emma, beautiful job. Fantastic. Okay, Emma, now we back up and do forehand back end in the corners, okay?
Okay, now I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to give you a high forehand and a low backhand, okay? Get up to the backhand. Good. High. And a low. Be aggressive on the high one. Be aggressive. And low one. Good work. Good. A low one. Be a little more cautious. High one. And now reverse it. High backhand. Low forehand. High. And low. Good top spin there. High. Last one, Emma. Beautiful job. Okay, Emma, now we're going to do all forehands, okay? No backhands allowed. You put the balls in the corners. Okay, Emma, now all backhands, okay? We're working on spacing right now. We're working on getting out of the way, getting in proper position, doing a lot of lateral footwork. Here we go. Come on. Again. Good. All right, now forehand from the backhand side, backhand from the forehand side. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, you got three more. Come on, keep going. Here we go, quick feet. The way. Couple more, Emma, get out of the way. Come on. One more, get out of the way, quick, go. Yes. Emma, let's do now short ball and the deep ball. When it comes to the short ball, if you don't have time, you can let it bounce. But if you're quick enough, I'm gonna kind of feed it high. You can even take it in the air, okay? So you're gonna be working on moving up and back. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start you out with a short one. And now deep. Here we go, short one, be explosive. Good work. Here we go, Emma, come. Excellent job. Let's reverse it, forehand and then a short high backhand. Here we go. Here we go, Emma, come. Here we go, Emma, come. Good forehand, get in there, quick. You got two more, it's okay. And backhand, position yourself. Much better. The one that you missed, the wind blew it into you. That's why you missed it. Emma, now lateral movement, okay? I want you to be super explosive when you're moving laterally. And then when you come back, I want you to tap the center hash mark with your racket. Make sure you tap it here. That kind of mimics staying low and kind of mimics moving towards the other side. And we'll do sets of six, very short sets, but super high intensity, super explosive, okay? okay. Start you off with a forehand. Okay. Come on, there we go. Come on, explosive. Tap the middle line. Two. Come on, Emma, tap. Three. There we go, tap. Four. Come on, tap that middle line. Five. Last one, Emma, come on, rip this one. Okay, do one more, you missed that one. Give me another one, come on. One more time, come on, Emma, it's all right. You know what I see with this racket? Back when you play with the old one, I felt like the racket was accelerating through the air faster. I feel like with this one, it feels like you're having a hard time bringing the racket over. Yeah, it just, I feel the like racket, power. The racket kind of stays around the ball longer. Yes. You right? don't bring it around like you used to. So you're kind of like steering the ball just a little bit. That's why you're missing more. But it's because of the racket. The other one, the other one, you were like this. You were so quick in here yeah. and you weren't missing anything. Come on, here we go. One, good, back to the middle tap, two, come on, all the way to the middle, three, good Emma, come on, come on, come on, four, good, it's okay, don't worry about that, a little more spin, five, match point, be aggressive, come on, it's hard, right, it's, it's a lot different, isn't it? It's a different from running too. Like when you, yeah. even the marathon stuff, it doesn't prepare you for this. Yeah. It's like the short burst of energy yeah. for like 10 and seconds, 15 seconds, body. using everything. everything. And you know what, it, you know also like when you're running, I feel like the body is not going to the max. Yeah. I feel like when you're playing tennis, like the high level, high intensity, your body goes 
to the max, right? To the max effort possible in order to play well. Yeah. And by this short, short amount of time, and then you take a little break and you do it again. That's why it's so different when you play because the intensity is at 100%. Where anything else that you do, you're not going to quite put your body to the 100% level. You know what I'm saying? Sure. All right, my six back hands. Go anywhere you want, but recover quick. Come on. Two. Very good. Three. Come on, recover quick. Four. Recover quick. Five. Recover quick. Six. Come on. Very good, Emma. All right, Emma, let's do live ball now, okay? I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to bring you in occasionally. You go back to me from the baseline. If I drop some short, you put it away on the other side, okay? Here we go. Back to me. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Get in there. Come, come. Very nice. Emma, if I put the ball on the ground before, he, like after my volley, I put it in the ground, it creates a weird spin effect to the ball. So the ball is very lively when it's on your end. So it's a good way to practice. So don't, don't get like freaked out. I'm going to sometimes hit the ball into the ground, but you play it, either take it as a swing volley or let it bounce. Good. Good. Good, Emma. Come on. Good. Get up there. Get up there. And I recover. Come. Excellent put away. Good work. All right, Emma. Last round. Here we go. Good. 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 Get up there. Get up there. Come on. A little more height on that forehand. Come on. Good. And I put her away. Go. Go. Fantastic job, nice. See there you drop the ball drop below the level of the net and you recognize that and then just rolled it over very gently. Very good shot selection there. Awesome job, Emma. All right, Emma, come back to me on this side, short balls. You go the other way. Come on. Come on. Come on, Emma. Get in there, go, go, go. I like that counter drop shot. Very good feel. Come on. Good. On the run, Emma. Come. Back to me. Good. 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 Get in there. And I back it up a little bit. Back it up. Get in there. I felt that maybe you took that a little too high, don't you think? And you also could have gotten out of the way a couple more steps. Yes. So you like taking those balls when they're rising, correct? Yeah. You don't like to take them when they fall below the apex, yeah. right? So in that sense, you waited too long. You should have taken it just a tad earlier. Yeah. All right, here we go. One round. One more round. Get down, down. Hit a forehand there. No slice. Giving you a little more pace now. Come on, hang in there. I'm giving you more pace. Come on, Emma, go. This is our last round. Hang in there. Come on. Hang in there, Emma. Good. Come on. Ten more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get, get, get. Ten. Come on. Put away. Come on, get in there. Nice work. Attack. Excellent shot. Nice. Come, 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 come. Very smart choice there. Good job. See, when that ball drops below the level of the net, that's actually a very smart shot. 
Nice job. Of course, even better is if you can get there a little faster and take it higher, you can put it away easier. Excellent job. Nice. One more round. Good work, Emma. Nice. Emma, here's what I would like you to do now. I'm going to hit the ball super hard. I'm going to rip it deep and hard, and you do one of those deflective shots. You know what I'm talking about? Where you kind of bend down low and just use my pace. Here we go. Let's do a set of like 10 to 20 of these. Come on. Do it like the other Emma, Emma Raducanu. She likes to play these shots. Yeah. You saw she stands, she stands so close to the baseline. Here we go. Come on, Emma. Come on, Emma. Get down there. Get low. Get lower. Come on, lower. Lower, Emma. Come. Low. Use my pace. Deflect. Come on. Two more. One. Last one. Good. Nice job, Emma. Very good. This is a good baseline training. How do you feel? You feel tired? I feel exhausted. Yeah, we do it for an hour and a half of drills. That's a long time. But you're doing well. Very consistent. But since you, you don't train anymore, uh, it's more the intensity that's kind of uh, missing a little bit, you know, because you're not used to it. So it's about getting the stamina back, getting a little better shape. Yeah. Tennis specific shape. You can't really recreate this. You know, I know you like to run, you like to work out, you do yoga, you do everything. But this type of thing where you're giving it 100% effort in a short time span, you only, can do, you only do this on a tennis court because you go to the max with your body. You're not necessarily going to the max when you're doing these other things. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're getting so exhausted when you do these drills. So it's just a matter of doing it more like you used to. Yep. All right, good work, Emma. Here, give me a racket tap. This way? This Which way? way? This way? This way? I'll do this way. Okay. Nice work. Good Thank job. You,